It's me again. Do you know how hard it is to focus a camera when there is literally only you and you want to be a certain distance away and my arm doesn't reach the HUD. I can't like, if I'm over here like focusing, I'm like great face perfectly in focus and then I move back and I'm just, it's a struggle. Thank you for your press. It's very late in the evening. This is the second video I have filmed on a day where I woke up refusing to believe it was possible to film even one. That's a, that's a small win, we'll take that. I also made two yesterday while disastrously hung over. There was a Toy Story 4 screening, it's amazing, go and see it. And then after the screening there was a party and reader, I got a bit drunk. Here's a picture I took when I arrived and then I walked in the room and I saw Forky and I was like, wouldn't it be funny if I took a picture with Forky pretending I'm drunk and like telling him how, that's how it is Forky and then it came true. <laughs> I don't remember a great deal of the evening, but I had a Big Mac. Is this a pattern? I think this is a pattern now. The course of my life is gonna be charted in Big Macs. Like, it's a line graph, but instead of dots, it's a Big Mac. <laughs> the next day, I was appallingly hungover, still managed to make two videos. So the next time I sit there and think, I can't do anything, I'd like someone to very gently and politely remind me that, yes, you bloody well can, actually. Have more faith in yourself, child. Now, I did a wash earlier on, um, so I need to fold these clothes. This was in the wash, and it is a nightmare to fold, but you don't need to fold it if you're wearing it. Just gonna move these delicates. <laughs> Still fold the condo way, but my drawers are an absolute nightmare. This wardrobe has been lovely for a time, we are gonna need to replace it. I have this idea of putting up two small, like, hook rail things, like, this long, either side, and just dangling the essential clothes, and then condoing the rest. So it's almost like they're, they're like curtains in this little nook. And I think that'll look quite nice, but then I have to fold the rest of the clothes, and it is a ball ache. It's like, which do you want? Folded clothes that are neatly put away, but you have the ball ache of folding them. Or hanging clothes, and it being a little bit on the scrappy side. And I can't, I can't hang these. I can't, these are gym shorts, I can't hang these. But also, they're so limp that they won't stand up condo style, so why am I even trying? Because God loves a trier. Oh, I can hang this! Up we get, oh God, my legs! That's age, isn't it, when you can't do a simple movement without making a grunt sound. At the end of the day, I've noticed recently, I start sighing. I'll finish a task, like I'll close the dishwasher and then go, <sighs> right. Or I, I like, I'll turn the light off in the bathroom and go, <sighs> okay. I don't know what Jack must think. There's another hanger! Actually, do I want to keep this? I'm still, I'm still a hoarder. I do like this top and like, four times out of ten, when I wear it I feel amazing. It's just that the six times I don't, is, are those aren't good odds, are they? I'm gonna give you a slight reprieve. If the next time I put you on you make me feel bad, Sayonara. See, these are all like thick knit sweaters, which I don't need at the moment because it is, a, you wouldn't be able to tell from the clouds, but it is summertime. But I, I don't know what a capsule wardrobe is. Is that right? Plus getting stuff from under my bed is a nightmare. I'll just hang you up. Okay, well there are less clothes here than I thought there were, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to stretch this video out much longer. But, one thing I did want to tell you about. So yesterday's video was about imposter syndrome and not feeling as though you belong, feeling a bit like a fraud, like you're gonna be found out. The last time I felt this strongly was when I started reading this book. This is a cookbook. It's called Midnight Chicken and Other Recipes Worth Living For by Ella Risbridger. It's brilliant. However, when I was reading it, I was like, Oh my god, her tone of voice is so similar to mine. I was really put off, it really stunned me how similarly we spoke. I'm reading this and I'm imagining myself sat at my table typing these words. I, and I kind of felt called out and a bit like, oh, I don't like that. But then I saw a last minute tweet that uh, Ella was gonna be speaking at the British Library alongside queen of all queens, Nigella. And if Nigella's in town, I can't pass it up. So I got myself literally the last ticket. I tried to book two, but it wouldn't let me. So I called up and they were like, yeah, there's literally one, do you want it? And it's Nigella, so obviously. And I listened to her talk and I realized she must have been feeling very similar to the way I was. She was engaging, she was interesting, but she was also really humble to the point of shyness. And that gave me a lot of perspective. Like you're able to put a face to the name on the front cover. And remember that like a lot of effort clearly went into this. And no doubt there were so many times she was sat at that table with the typewriter, not the typewriter, but she's not Tom Hanks. So she's putting pen to paper and she must have felt exactly the same way I did. And she wrote a book and so did I. Did you think I was done vlogging this yet? How long have you been here? Come on. I remembered the story when I was going through my notes earlier on. And I found the big stream I'd written where I was saying, I'm not good enough. Ella's writing just like me. She's so much better. She's got a lovely book. And in the moment today, I sort of sat there and I went, dude, you achieved. Cut yourself some goddamn slack. I'm going to bed feeling considerably better than I did when I woke up. And I just wanted to share that. And I'm very grateful for all the support you showed on yesterday's video. I said it yesterday, but it bears repeating. I'm genuinely very grateful for our little community. It's Sunday tomorrow, so I will see you from in here. Have a lovely rest of your day. See you then. I don't have an ending joke.